Welcome back to Business Inspirations. I'm Coach Cynthia, and today we're still with uh, Andy Sharif, CEO of City. That's S I T T I, yeah, the uh, internet engine. And uh, my question is this: It's not. It's not a new topic. You know, you use Facebook, you use social media, mm -hmm. you use these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So, what's new in the whole world of internet that could help um, SMEs? Um, Actually, boost? you're right. There's nothing new, but that's exactly is the problem in my mind, right? This country, we are so good at using the internet as social tool. We're, we're so good at it that we're beating out majority of nations around the world. <laughs> we went for our Facebook rank, traffic goes so high, the population goes up. So we're so good at using the internet as a social tool. Here's my challenge. We have 50 million internet users, it's going to be 100 million in three years. Look, how many people live in Jakarta? How many a people lot. Live? 20 million, right? Yeah. Assuming, right? 20 million. And the economy of this nation is probably 60% in this town, right? Mm. So tell me this. We have 50 million internet users. How come the economy of the internet is not spread that much? Mm. The question is not yet. Yeah. The point is, uh, I'm arguing this. If you have a cost-efficient marketing tools inside the internet that can spread your message to 50 million individuals in the country, that wealth or that ability should be spread across the 52 million micro-businesses because mm -hmm. that is a real place for them to grow their business. How is um, an SME typically using uh, internet now, and what's the potential that, there's, that there is still? Let me start with the potential. This number is incredible. Early this year, Google, uh, .com in the U.S., make an announcement that $64 billion of transaction and buy and among SMEs in the U.S. can be attributed to their advertising platform called Google AdWords. Mm. 64 billion, Cynthia. That's not the money that Google received. That's a transaction that occurred because SMEs in the US are using Google AdWords advertising. Wow. So that is an unbelievable number, right? You think about this for a second. So uh, the point of the matter is, is that we need to guide SMEs to go into the online ecosystem. Because right now, a lot of them are doing something very traditional. And it's fine. It's fine to print out a brochure and then put it in the Tiang district all over the neighborhood. It's okay. But I'm saying, <laughs> what if you can spend the same amount and yet expose your message to the entire city, people who live in their city? Or even cross islands, for example. Or bigger businesses even. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. So imagine an ability by a lot of these SMEs that they can focus in production at the same time the promotions being handled online. Now, uh, call me a dreamer, but if we can get 37 million Facebook population somehow, some way, even uh, Tukang Sate in Menteng now is using Facebook wall to call him. Right? If we can do that, if we can get mothers who stay at home and selling stuff on Facebook, I guarantee you, we can get every SMEs, if not all, if not most SMEs, to join the, eco the, the online ecosystem. Hmm. Uh, I, I think I, I almost think it's a must actually. And and what are some of the tools that's available right now on the in uh, all I know is like Facebook, Twitter, yeah, uh, all these kinds of things. I'm gonna call out my fr a lot of my friends' name or you know companies like Multiply. You know they provide the web website available for free. Essentially, come like Multiply, satu uh, tempat. A lot of these e-commerce guys are putting storesplaza.com. So I'm naming a lot of brands here, but I'm saying. These are people who are giving UKM essentially SMEs the ability to start online. Now, City is different. City is a platform to promote because mm -hmm. we have a machine that intelli intelligent enough to know that if you like shoes, fashion women's shoes, and you're selling that, then all you have to do is put those keywords in City saying, hey, I want to sell this spatu, fashion, women, yeah, everywhere on the internet that these terms comes up, advertise me. Hmm. So, City is now able to read 50,000 articles in one second. Um, and we are at this point producing about 10 to 15 million ads a day based on keywords. Hmm. So, it's, your ads not going to appear just everywhere, it's going to appear where it is relevant. So, that's why it's cost effective because we're not telling the advertiser, hey, advertise everywhere. No, we're saying advertise where it matters. Right. So, so that, that, that's the biggest thing that City. Now, of course, we are inspired by Google. Uh, Google is the only other company in the world that does this and does this very, very well. Um, so at some point, um, 
Google will be here in town and they'll do what we do. And I think it'll benefit the SMEs even more because then they have two choices, us and Google. Mm. You know? um, so in my opinion, uh, I don't think this country can survive unless SMEs can be somehow sustain you know, uh, what they do. Uh, they can, they can uh, because for them, it's about feeding their family, right? Yes. It's about uh, having their kids to go into higher education. And ultimately, at the end of this, it's about having larger middle class, right? Yeah. You know, because I don't think anything works unless larger middle class is here. So I just do, be I do strongly believe that the internet is a gateway. It's an absolute gateway for uh, a lot of these SMEs to perform better and therefore for this country to perform better. Right, right. So it's, it's almost like what people typically know is maybe only 0.5 percent of what's out there, mm -hmm. isn't it? People yeah. just, you're right, even if, if I do get these wall posts from my Facebook and everything like that, it's still just using the traditional, put a picture on, yes. here's the prize, yes. Yes. yeah, yes. But, and, and, and all these things. Now, what must a what must an SME prepare before they get into this online I think um, the standard stuff uh, that, and again, I'm not an expert at this. I don't think I'm competent in saying about this, but I do believe production, uh, being able to produce your product, because one of the things about internet that's also dangerous on the other side is that you may have more orders than what you're capable of delivering. Wow, what a great problem. Exactly, it's a good problem, but it's still a problem for them, right? <laughs> it is still a problem, but so, yes. so from SME from SME standpoint, I think, uh, before you go online, what you need to do is first and foremost is to essentially make sure you have the ability to produce. Because there are cases now, CT now has about 3,000 advertisers. A lot of those are SMEs. And they have been coming back to us saying, you know, <laughs> there's a lot more orders than what we can deliver. So those are things that we found <laughs> to be a problem. It's a good problem, but it's a start. You yeah. know? I think that's what you should do right away in the right, beginning. Right, you know. right. Very interesting. And we'll continue our uh, conversation with more about how SMEs can. Um, make use of this internet revolution and I think uh, you know we're not only talking about tukang sate and tukang kerupuk yeah, but also if you think about it small medium medium to larger size mm -hmm. uh, businesses who are still spending a lot of money on traditional types of marketing mm. um, and how uh, I want to focus on the last, last segment on how to target that you know mm -hmm. using city to also target that it's not again it's not how many times you market it's targeting it correctly Correct. yeah so uh, we'll be right back on business inspiration stay with us